Hello, my name is Alex Cock, Business Consultant at Intercad, and welcome to the final part of the Quick Tip series covering the topic of e-drawings. Today we'll talk about and further enhancing the experience of e-drawings with stereoscopic 3D graphics. And I'm going to start off today by preempting some questions that probably will be popping up in the background. What exactly is stereoscopic 3D graphics? Some of us might not be familiar with this and don't we already work in 3D right now with SOLIDWORKS, e-drawings, and so on and so forth? Well, Wikipedia says this, but I'd like to say something else. Think about every time you walk in an electrical appliance store and we see a television that says 3D TV. Well, 3D TV is an application that makes use of stereoscopic 3D graphics. Or putting it in a very simple manner, this is your normal 3D that we work with on screen, in SOLIDWORKS, in e-drawings, and 3D stereoscopic graphics work something like this. This image might be an exaggeration, but it should provide an idea of what we're talking about today. So, how do we enable this capability in e-drawings? There is currently no available shortcut to directly activate the functionality for stereoscopic 3D support in e-drawings. Instead, users will have to go through a three-step process, starting with entering the registry editor. Now, under the H key current user software, e-drawings folder, you will need to enter the e-drawings version that we are using currently. For my case, it is e-drawings 2012. And under general, we need to edit a specific option called stereo display. The default value for the stereo display entry is zero. We will need to change it to one. Having changed that option and saved it, we now return to the eDrawings viewer. And under tools, options, we need to ensure that under performance, graphics boost has been turned on and set to faster speed. Step 3 involves opening a specific 3D file. In my case here, this is a drawing, it doesn't work. You will need to open a part or an assembly file, such as this, and ensure that perspective has been turned on. These are the three steps to enable stereoscopic 3D support functionality on the eDrawings viewer. Now, if this short little presentation has fired up your imagination and getting you all excited about working with stereoscopic 3D graphics on your e-drawings, I'd like to ask you to just hold on and finish off this presentation before you run away. For starters, you may wish to note that not all graphics cut supports this functionality. Specific graphics cut information can be obtained from the hardware requirements links that's being shown on the screen here. In addition, there might be additional hardware, for example, stereoscopic 3D ready goggles or spectacles that are required to fully allow you to experience the stereoscopic 3D capabilities of e-drawings. Or for more general information concerning working with e-drawings and stereoscopic 3D graphics, please do a search of e-drawings on www.nvidia.com. For more information regarding e-drawings, SOLIDWORKS, or any related products, please contact Intercad at the numbers shown via email or on the internet. My name is Alex Cock, Business Consultant, and this has been a quick tip presentation proudly brought to you by Intercad.